Hi everybody and welcome back to Nelly Roof Designs. Uh, today I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while and I've been talking about it for a while um, as I craft here on my channel. Um, I'm going to play with some stamps. I have a lot of stamps that I've received um, during the past year that I haven't even used yet. I've been busy doing other projects and uh, I want to see how they work out. Um, I guess I could rate them or, but I want to share this with you because um, I know a lot of times you look at a stamp and you look at the detail in it. You're not sure how it's going to work, if it's going to work. Um, so I have a whole variety of stamps here and I'll go over that with you in just a minute. But first I want to thank everyone for joining in. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> I've been having a lot of fun doing let me just mute this. Um, I'm just going to turn it right off my phone here. If I remember how to, here we go. I have a try. I have problems um, how turning my phone off. I never re can remember which buttons um, they are. But at any rate, um, you know, thank you for joining in. I really, I've been having fun. I've been having a lot of fun with everybody. And, um, I really enjoy your comments and I, you know, I don't get enough comments right now. So I'm able to answer or respond back, reply back. I really like that. Um, I like keeping those lines of communication open. Um, so we can move on to the, the stamps now. Um, I did pull some papers and I will show you what. I'm just going to stamp randomly, but let me show you first what I have and what I'm going to be working with. Um, these stamps here, these are from West Coast Stamps, and I bought these on Etsy. This one, I couldn't even remember what the image was, but I think these are Venetian blinds with somebody peeking out. I think I bought this thinking that I would be using this on my packages that I mail out. Um, so I'll, I'll give this a whirl, give this a try. Uh, we have a flying clock here. We have a little girl, if I remember, it looks like a tricycle. This looks like a, a post office box, a mailbox, and it looks like a little girl putting a letter in. We have a bird cage here, and then we have a very large butterfly. So again, these came from West Coast Stamps, and I found this company on Etsy, and I thought I'd give them a whirl. So I have those, and then I just received these from Blue Fern Studios. Um, this was one of my first orders I placed with them, and I really liked these ferns, so I want to try these. And this I thought would be a really cool... Um, kind of like, you know, to put in collage work. And then I purchased some large doilies, one large and two small. And then I liked these circles. Um, I'm always challenged by circles and I wanted to see how I might use these. So I have these from Blue Fern Studio. And then I have all of these stamps I've never used from Your Creative Studios. So I'm very anxious to see how these work. I have quite a, I have a nice little cache. I have a nice little pile here. Um, these just came. These were in the July box. So I want to try those. I have a little pile there. Then I have a lot of um, stamps that I've purchased over the last year from Red Paper or Red Lead Paperworks. And I did buy one stamp. I wasn't pleased with it at all. It was a teacup. So I wanted to try these. These I have used with other sayings. I know these come out quite well. This I just used in my girlfriend's uh, Lazy Daisy junk journal. And these stamp very well. I have a box here. I wanted to try these here. Red lead is a little bit more expensive and sometimes you think that if something is expensive it works really well or it works better but that's not the case 
Um, I have a bunny here. I purchased these cute winter tickets. I want to try those to see how they work. And then I have some, again, Christmas um, cancellation stamps. I have a bird, winged male. I want to try that bird. I have this collage. I thought, and again, I'm not sure how, this was kind of like the same cut that the teacup was in, and the teacup did not come out well at all. And then I have these. And I do have some others, but these are the ones that I picked. So, and the other thing I have is my cup of tea. Uh, let's see, what time is it? It is 3.25 p.m. And what day is it? It's a Tuesday. Mm. I still have my sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics, and I thought a cup of tea would be really good. Um, so I'm just going to scoot over and get some ink. And I'll bring these two little baskets over. I'm not sure what is in. I don't want to use the stays on because that will make a mess. Um, but let's see what we have here. I've got some Tim Holtz, frayed burlap, stomach, peeled paint. Did I just say stomach? Frayed burlap. What did I say? Peeled peeled paint. Frayed burlap. I thought I said, oh, I thought I said stomach. Um, but let's try these. I have uh, a crushed olive, a lucky clover, cracked pistachio, a pine needles, and then I've got my corduroy. Uh, I've got a tea dyed here. Uh, tea dyed. This is embossing. Victorian velvet, barn door. These are my reds. Frank Grick. All right, I've got a good um, variety of stamps. I'm just going to put them over here. And let's just get started. So I got some miscellaneous paper um, here that I'll, I'll stamp in this section. I got just a plain piece of, this is typewriter paper. I wanted to see how it came out on this. And I got some other paper that I use in my junk journals, just a plain white. So we're just going to start. Um, I think I'll start with some of the blue fern. This is called texture, texture circles. <clears throat> so I did clean my desk off and of course it's going to be trashed again. That's okay. So let's take a look here at what we have. Oh, this is interesting. So, see, I wish the design was on here, but then again, you it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to have it on there because it wouldn't stick to it wouldn't stick to the little um acrylic holder for it. In my mind it would, but in reality it doesn't. So let's do let's do a frayed burlap. I have I have not used my stamps in so long or my pads in so long. I don't even remember what a lot of these colors look like. And I'm not answering that. I just spoke to my husband, so I know it's not him. So, and I'm, you know, the verdict is still out as to whether I really like, I think I prefer rubber stamps over the acrylic because I don't like the way the ink lays on the acrylic. But this may stamp out just fine. I'm just going to move some of these your creative studios out of the way a little bit. 
guess it doesn't really matter the way my paper goes. So let's try this here. And nope, don't like that. Yep. Yeah, I am not crazy about these at all. So these may be going back. Yeah, I don't I don't really like that at all. Let's try another one. See, I'm just not an acrylic type of girl. And I guess it's just for that that very reason. Um And I don't think it's the ink. I don't think it's the ink. Let me try. I have a different ink that I use as well. I like this brand of ink. The Dew Drop. Let me try... Uh, let me try a dew drop. See if maybe this is a this works a little bit differently on the acrylic. Maybe the Tim Holtz is too wet. And the other thing with the acrylic, I can't really tell how much I have on there. Yeah, looks like that's not. It's not holding it at all. And I know my ink is good because these are brand new. Let's try this one. This one is the peanut brittle. That's not too bad. a little bit lighter all right that one's not too bad um, maybe it was just the maybe it's the Tim maybe it's the distressed ink that isn't I'm gonna try this other stamp again the butterfly I'm gonna try it with the dewdrop ink and let me grab another, let me grab uh, Potter's Clay. I like that one. And maybe with the acrylic, you have to rub it on? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's better. I think it's just the Tim Holtz ink. I think it was maybe too wet. Yeah, that's much better. All right. Okay. So I guess just like anything else, it's learning how to use your equipment and what works and what's not. So now I'm curious to see how this would be these on the typing paper. So let's try, I'm going to use the potter's clay again. Let's try this on the typing paper. Yeah, and I like that on the typing paper. So, um, okay, so these are fine. We're just going to set this aside over here. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try this one here because this is really, um, this seems to have a lot going on with it as well. So I want to try this one. And let us try use, let's use the rhubarb stock. All right, 
this is the rhubarb stalk and it looks like it goes this way oh yeah that's lovely yeah I like that okay all right so these are good these I like all right so I'm just going to set these over here because I will clean them later all right, next. All right, let's try one of the doilies from Blue Fern. This is Weather Doily. Okay, let's see. Let's try this big one. And these really stick. I think some people just, they also just use them on this here. And they just stamp like this. So maybe I'll try that. Instead of peeling it off. And I'm going to use this rhubarb again. Just to make sure I am stamping on the right. Yeah, I am. It just looks dark because it's on the... Um, it's on that dark image. And by keeping it on there, you can't really tell how much you have on. So let's try... Well, that's not too bad. That looks rather vintagey and distressed, and that's kind of cool looking. This little one I will peel off here. And I'm going to put this on my holder. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so these are good. These are really nice just as well. So, I want to try this one too. And let's get another little color. Let us try. I really like these earthy. This is Morocco. I really like the earthy colors. Um, and I do like this brand of stamp. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, these will be fun to work with. On some projects and... Yeah, yeah, I like those. I like the looks of them a lot. And then I will just remember to use my my dewdrop inks with these. Because apparently the Tim Holtz are just a little too too wet. All right, so those are good. So we can set those aside. All right. And I think I'm going to, I think these will work out just fine as well. We'll come back to those. I just want to try these leaves, leafy floral stamps. I want to see what these do, how these work. I hope you're all having a really nice day. Um, I'm going to try the crushed olive on this just for the heck of it. Um, we are getting more rain. <laughs> rain, 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 more rain. All right, let's try this. And 
And again, this is the Tim Holtz on this. So let's see how this comes out. Yeah, a little too wet. Um, I don't know what's what's up with that. You know what? I'm going to try my dis this, dis this Distressed Ink because I use this a lot. It's kind of dried out. So let me, let me check this out. That's a little bit better. But I think the Tim Holtz are just too moist, too wet. You can see on there where it hasn't dried yet on the paper where this here is pretty much dried. Kind of, sort of. Um, let me try this as well on regular paper, not on the typewriter paper. I don't know if there's a rule. I've heard there's like a 15 second rule when you stamp, you know, to hold your your stamp down, but who knows? Oh, that's pretty. So I think the, if you have a Tim Holtz that doesn't have a lot of ink on it or you use it over and over and over again, um, I think they, they'll they work fine on the acrylic stamps here. Um, but if you have a new one, I would say just beware. Um they're going to be a little too wet and they will look like this. That's what happened here. They're just a little too wet. So, all right. So I, I like that a lot. That would be really pretty as a background on a card. Okay. So let's flip this over. Next, um, we're done with blue fern. So I give blue fern, um, a really good rating. Let's try, uh, because we don't have too many of them, let's try the West Coast stamps. I'm really anxious to see how this butterfly is going to come out. And I think I have to peel the back here, I would assume. I have not used this yet. Yep, there we go. I try to take really good care of my stamps and I clean them. Um, I have some cleaner from Stampin' Up. I know some people don't bother to or they'll take a baby wipe. I wouldn't take a baby wipe because it has alcohol in it and it will dry the rubber or the acrylic out. I don't think that's a really good idea. Um... Let's try this frayed burlap. And this is a lot of territory to cover. So, so I think I'll do the outside with the frayed burlap and maybe I'll do a little bit of the inside. With the peanut brittle. So should we do that rule again where it's 15 seconds? It'll give me time to take a sip of my tea. And listen to the rain and the thunder. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is very pretty. Oh, that is really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's try. Let's try the barn door. All right. 
oh, I want to use this. <clears throat> now I'll be thinking about this all night, what I can, how I can incorporate that. And I think I know how I can incorporate it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is a wonderful stamp. Oh, I just love it. Okay, so let us go. Let's try the next run from West Coast Stamps. And you'll find them on Etsy. And of course, I, unfortunately, I did not leave a review. But I think what I'll do is I'll contact them um, through a message. And I'm going to tell them just how pleased I am um, with their stamps. I'll have to look to see what else they have. Okay, this is the birdcage. I think I, think I might have moved that a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at how, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my gosh. How fun would that be on a tag with a fussy cut bird? Mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm so excited about their um, stamps. Let me just stamp this off here until I can clean it. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you're as excited as I am, but oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to see how this comes out. The little girl at the with the tricycle. All right, let's see. So I think this one I'm going to use my dew drops. Um, what would be a fun color? Here's a sweet plum. Maybe I could do, maybe I could do a couple different. I could use, hold on, I'd like to get, maybe I could use the rhubarb stalk on a little bit of the bicycle. Maybe I could do like a tricolor. I've really never done that before. We'll see how, let's see how that comes out. All right, so we've got the bike. Maybe I could just do a whole off color. Hold on, let me grab. I have two more racks of Dewdrop. I use these to clean my stamps. These are just makeup. Um cotton things for your face. Uh, that tea's making my nose run. Let's use the, um, just for the heck of it. Let's use a little bit of this blue on the, oh, there's the thunder. Let's use this blue on the mailbox. See, I don't know if I should have done that or just blotted it. It might come out too, too strong. I think I that's where I made my mistake here. And just for the heck of it, I'm just going to use the olive grove. It's just to show. Just to show the difference. And I have to do her little, I have to do her little legs and her little feet here. All right, let's try that. All right, let's give it a whirl. And the only reason I did that was to see if it would differentiate the, uh, you had three things going on here. You had the bicycle, the girl, and the 
Ah, this is so detailed though. Oh, that is cute. All right, so I think I can use a little bit more ink with that blue, but that's cute. She's on the bicycle mailing a letter. Let me try it in a solid color. Uh, let's do it in a, let's do it in a, the walnut stain. I know there's a little bit of stuff still on here, but that's okay. Let's see. I hope I'm not jiggling my camera too much when I'm pounding the... When I'm pounding the... Uh, boy, it is really raining out. This has been the rainiest month. I don't think we've had but two... Uh, two sunny days all of July. And then August will probably be dry as a bone. Oh, that's very cute. All right. So as detailed as this is, I'm very pleased with the outcome. I think that's very cute. And I do like it in the tricolor. I think with the dew drop, um, you're able to do that. That's very cute. All right, so that one's done. And we'll just do the, we'll use the sweet plum on this here. The, oops. You can tell I haven't used these. I haven't even peeled the back off yet. I can't wait to, uh, for us to try the, your creative studio. Uh, I don't know if this one is. No, no, that's. I think some of these are just really light. Now let's try it. Let's see if I got even got anything on there. Yeah, that's kind of light. All right, so. That is a little light. Um, do I have another? We could try the Bahama Blue. There we go. I think some of them are older. Um, I did get a new pack. So that may be why they're not coming out that great. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's very cool. And you can see they are very meticulous. This says sterling, and you can really read that out quite well. So they, they did a very good job. This company I'm very pleased with on Etsy. Um, and, again, it's West Coast Stamps. So I'm, I'm very happy with the way their stamps work. So I will give them a 10 rating. Um, all right, so, okay, let's move on. Um, we'll set that over here. And we will flip this over. And I want to try some of the ones from your creative studio. Because I've been showing you the boxes, and I haven't used any of the stamps. So we'll try the Tim Holtz again on here. I'm going to use the fire brick. Oh boy. Did you hear that? That actually scared me. I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting that. I ran out to the store just in time to Oh, that's very pretty. See how delicate and intricate that is? And this this is lovely. Can you see that? The month and the date. The numbers come out 
wonderfully. They come out very clear. So I'm very pleased with this here. I'll do a little stamp off on this to clean that off until I can get to it. So we'll set this over here. And let's see. Okay. Um, I want to try these that I showed you the other day. Because this one is a teeny tiny, little teeny tiny one. Look at the size of this. And I think it's a, I don't know if it's a key. I don't know what it is. But we're going to try it. I'm going to use the red again. Is it a doorknob? Oh, it's a thumbtack. I don't know if you can make it out, but it's a little tiny thumbtack. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah, that's a little tiny thumbtack. All right. And then the next one I want to try, is this like a, this might be a paper clip. Let's try this one. I think that's a paper clip that you put at the top of your page. So if you had like a little tag, that's supposed to be a little paper clip. All right, so that's okay. All right, let's try one of these little guys here, the clip. Let's pick another color. Oh, let's try the pumice stone. I think that's a little light, like on the greenish shade. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that comes out very nice. All right. That's a nice one. And then this is another. Man, it is just raining. Oh, boy, oh, boy. The streets are probably flooded again. All right, this is nice. That's a clip. Your typical clip. And let's try, let's try this. This one here. And we will see what this is all about. We will see what this one's all about. Oh, that's cute. See, it has the paper clip attached to it, or the um, thumbtack attached to it. Oh great. So these are these are going to be fun as well. And you could write a little message in there. Hi Daisy. You just, are you scared? Huh? Did you hear that big bad thunder? Go go settle down with Sissy. She's over in the chair. Go on. Go cuddle with Sissy. My other doodle just came up. I don't think she likes the thunder. I don't think she likes the thunder. Okay, so these are working out really well. Let's see. This was one of the fancier ones. So. Okay, let's try this one. It really sticks. And I do like this pumice stone as well. Okay. All right, let's try that. I don't know if I got that down. All right, let's try a dewdrop on this one. Let's try the potter's clay. This is very um, intricate. This 
one right. We'll put this one right. To save paper. Let's try this one right here. Oh, that's lovely. I like that too. Well, so far so good. Alright, we'll take wow, that is sticky. Let's put that back on there. All right, let's see. What else? Um, I'm not sure it's for. I think we still have time. We've got time to play. I'm sure not everybody's going to hang around any rate. And this here. I think I'll just use this. I won't use the... Um, I'm not going to use the acrylic base. I think I can just use this to stamp with. would like something a little bit darker. I don't want a blue. Could try pistachio. That might be kind of fun. We could try pistachio. It's just the wind is blowing. It's up against throwing itself up against the window. Oh. We can do this. Press it down. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's try. That's not bad. Let's try this one. Oh, I like that. That'll be fun to do some projects with. Cut out. Those are cute. All right. So that is a yes, I like. All right. Uh, we could just grab a couple more here from the uh, Your Creative Studio. Here's a little mason jar or a little, this looks like an apothecary jar. Again, I'm not going to peel this. Um, let's use the pistachio on this one as well. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's a nice one. I like that. And we'll do this one, then we'll move on to some of the red lead. I'm very anxious to see um, on the red lead the larger, that larger bird one. Yeah, these are cute. So I'm happy with, so far, um, the Your Creative Studio. So I will give them 100%, 5 stars, 10 stars, whatever I want to go up to. What's Rotten Tomatoes do? 5 stars? I think they do 5 stars. Okay, so... Let's dig into the red lead now. Um, and I think 
I know I've been working on the plain paper. Um, maybe I could take a... Maybe I'll take one of these little ledger sheets here. I get stingy with my paper. I don't like to waste it. I don't, sometimes I don't even like to use it. Because once I use it, it's gone. All right, so let's try. Let's try this pine cone. And I do want to use the a brown, a nice brown. Living in the Adirondacks, you have to have a nice pine cone, especially when you're doing winter. I bought this one to put on the pages of my hiking scrapbooks and journals. And I haven't used it yet because I haven't done any hiking photos. So let's just see how this one turns out. And I also have to remember, I always get something, I get a picture in my mind as to, oh, I like that, what I think it should look like or how it should come out. And then when it doesn't, uh, I get disappointed, but what do they say? Uh, don't expect, if you don't expect something, you don't get disappointed. So, all right, so I do like that pine cone. Let's try this bird here. All right, let's try, let's try the canceled stamp or the little canceled one first and we're going to use um let's try tim holtz so far we haven't had i haven't had much luck i'm going to use the pine needles it's a little bit darker and usually when you have a cancellation it's in a darker ink so let's try this and i'm not sure i think it goes this way yeah so if you have a stamp it would be All right, that's wonderful. I like that as well. EU Airmail, 1937, and then New York. Okay, so I do like that. I think that looks great. And let's try the... This is winged, winged mail. Let's try this. Oh, that's lovely. Okie dokie. That's a yes. And now let's try the bird. Because again, the bird is a little bit bigger. And what color shall we do the bird? How about if we do a... Let's do a tea dyed. Um, actually, I'd like to do a yellow, a shade of yellow. Um, what do I have? Do I have any yellows? These are my golds for cards, holiday cards. This is a gold. Here's a toffee crunch. This might be a little too light, but let's try this. Let's see what toffee crunch looks like. I have a tendency to buy more of the earthy colors. I don't really like the bright, bright inks. All right, so this is Toffee Crunch. Let's try this. Oh, 
Oh, that's lovely. Just his eye doesn't come out very... Well, it is a little bit darker here. Let me try him one more time. Maybe I won't do it so much around his little face there. I'll just do a one little pat. I want to get these little... All right, let's try him down here. There we go. Still about the same, but you get the idea um, what he's supposed to look like. So, yes, I am happy with that. I do like that. So that one there is the, um, I don't know what you call it. I guess maybe just the winged male. So that one there is good. That's good to go. Uh, let's try the Christmas ones here. Uh, we have a, looks like a round cancellation. and So let's give this a whirl. And let's see, let's do, oh, there was my yellow. There was my yellow I was looking for. Um, we could do a rich cocoa. I know it's Christmas and Santa, but let's see if this, boy, that rain left just as fast as it came. Now the sun is coming out. This is one weird summer. And last night we were headed out to, uh, for ice cream and the sun was um it was on fire it was all that hazy cloud cover but the sun came through one little spot and it was just a ball of fire i just i couldn't take my eyes off it then of course when i did all i was seeing was red balls everywhere okay so this is lovely too the um a very merry christmas to you that would be fun on your um, page in your junk journal. All right, so what did I do with the other? Okay, you're telling me. Oh, here they are. Okay, so let's try this one. And I'll use the rhubarb stalk again. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's a lot of fun. I don't think we need to put as much ink on this one as I did. Let's try that again with a little bit less ink. Yeah, I like that. It shows where it's a little frayed around there, so that gives it a nice look. All right, so that's that's a go. And let's pick one more. Um, oh, I wanted to do... I wanted to do this one. And then... We'll call it a day. But wouldn't you love to see this as well? I'd really like to. I'll do this one too. Then we'll call it a day. All right. I'm going to leave this right on here. But I'm going to. No, I don't think I will. I want to be able to see where I place this. Um, so let's, uh, I'm going to use this olive grove again.
And again, on these large ones, I never really know if I should be swiping. I'm not a master stamper. I need to play with my stamps more. Because they're all so lovely. You can do so much with them. I didn't want that. I'm going to just put this under here because I don't want to get that on my... All right. Okay, Barbie. That was a real smart move. Silly girl. All right. Let's try this again. Um, not too keen on that. Maybe less ink. What do you think? Maybe less ink. Seeing that that's already on there, we will leave it on there. Um, let's try the, I'm going to try the red mahogany on this. And we'll see how this goes. It's like flipping an omelet, and I'm not real good at flipping omelets either. All right. Kind of like your wax seals. You just want to let it sit there for a minute while it melts. All right, that's a little bit better. I don't think you need as much um, ink on this. I'll have to play around with this and see how, um, you know, just see how it works. But I think in the future, I won't get anything that is this intricate. So, and this, so well, let's just, I'm, I want to try this one and then we'll, and then we'll say I do. All right, so we're going to put this, I don't need to put this on here. But I think I have, I mean, I have tons of stamps um, and I really don't need, <clears throat> need any more. But I think if I were to purchase stamps or I was looking for something special, I think the first place I would go would be to West Coast Stamps on Etsy. Um, they're the ones that did the butterfly and the bird cage. I'm very pleased. I'm over the moon uh, with their stamps. And they were a decent price, too. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was paying too much. Um, oh, that's cool. I do like that. I think that's a very cool film strip stamp. And we'll do this one. So I hope, you know, I've shown you some stamps that you haven't seen before. Uh, stamps that, you know, a couple companies that you didn't know about. And if you do belong to your creative studio, you know that you get stamps every month in your box. Um, it's a three-month subscription. I think you can sign up for one month. I also think on their website, you can just buy. That's cool. I do like that. You can just buy uh, certain things. I don't think you have to be. Uh, sign up for a monthly subscription. I don't know, though, um, when I went on there to copy the link in one of my other uh, 
videos I think I saw where you can just shop for individual items. So you may be able to buy their stamps separately. Yeah, these are cool. I, I really like these. They're kind of grungy and um, so there you have it amongst my messy desk we have um, quite a few stamps that we tried today so I do like the again I do like very much uh, the blue fern studio stamps I think they're very pretty and I love this fern and I think again you just have to play with your inks to see what's going to come out best and your paper as well. Um, and then this, remember this here is the West Coast stamps, which are just so much fun. And I'm very happy. I do like these from Red Lead Paper. They're just grungy and wonderful. And I do like the birds a lot. I think this would make a really pretty corner backdrop. And these here are all uh, red lead. And then these here are from Your Creative Studio. So yeah, I have a I have a bunch of new stamps that I need to use now and incorporate in some projects. And uh, I hope you had as much fun as I did today. And I will bid you adieu. And I think I'm going to go down and get, we're having tacos tonight. No, tomorrow night is taco night. And tonight we're having... Uh, we're having chicken Caesar salad, so I think that'll be yummy. So until I see you again, I will see you again in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.